I just got off a super interesting call with the developer of LOL Miner where he told me exactly how the new 100% LHR unlock works. So let's stop wasting time and let's jump right into it. Warning, there are people pretending to be me in the comments and on social platforms. I'll never ask you to add me on WhatsApp or Telegram and I'll never ask you to send me money, crypto or your personal information. Alright, so please be careful, use your common sense and don't let any of these imposters fool you. All right, now back to the video. All right, I'm here with Lollydeep, the developer of LolMiner. Lollydeep, thank you so much for coming on and talking with me again. I feel like our last conversation uh, went over really well with my, uh, with my audience and I had an absolute blast speaking to you last time. And I feel oh, like- Me too. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, I feel like last time we spoke, I had probably a million questions for you, but this time, there's only really one big question I have for you. But first, I believe you have a little bit of an announcement. Is that right? Oh, well, if you mean uh, having the 100% unlock now also law money, yes, we have. Um, just as a time speaking here, uh, the Windows version is still testing on the other machine over there. Uh, but I think at the time this will be published, uh, both Windows and Linux uh, beta versions will be public. And uh, I hope let's say with time scope of the week and also then the final version of 1.50 featuring uh, the 100% unlock. Um, most work still need to go into this, uh, testing different driver versions and uh, see if they all behave like we want them to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's uh, the things still need to be sorted out between nice. beta and the final release. But uh, I'm, I'm feeling positive we'll get that sorted. Amazing. So for anyone watching this, by the time you're you're seeing this video, the new version of LOL Miner with the 100% full LHR unlock will be out. So please go download it, check it out, test it out, see what you think. I'm sure you'll love it just like I will when I get a chance to play around with it as well. But Lollydeeb, the question that's on everyone's mind just about now, how in the world were you able to do the 100% LHR unlock? What is going on? Is it magic, like nice as we're saying? Is it to do with the NVIDIA hack that happened or is it something else? So the floor is all yours. Please let me know. Oh, well, um, I'd say uh, it's, it's absolutely no black magic. Um, <laughs> and it definitely has to do with the hack. Oh, um, okay. Well, if you, if you think a little bit about it, no code of a certain size is completely um, free of flaws. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and this especially also uh, is true for the uh, NVIDIA drivers for sure. Um, they have extremely high quality uh, in the software. No, uh, no um, speaking bad about them. Mm. Anyways, what we in the end find found out is. Um, well, I told you the last time when we spoke about the unlock, uh, how it worked, that we have some internal counters in there um, ticking up when we are mining above a certain threshold and, uh, well, ticking down if we don't and so on. And, uh, well, at a certain point, we just hit an internal barrier and um, the cards will lock. For your audience, if you didn't watch the video, I guess that will do somewhere in the description below a link to that. Oh, you so can you can be a YouTube. Check it out. You're, you're, you're a natural <laughs> at this. You, yeah. So these internal counters and also a lot of the internal parameters, like for example, the thresholds, how much are we allowed to mine or um, how much memory access are we allowed to have? Those are parameters that are kind of hard coded into the driver, but they're all glued in some kind of let's say framework that is uh, similar to other controllers NVIDIA has. They have a lot of controlling stuff in this driver also, uh, for example, uh, throttling the speed when, uh, when the card is overheating or stuff like that. And for those um, controllers, there uh, is a certain routine um, setting new values to them, uh, uh, overriding the uh, driver defaults. Well, of course, we had some, um, let's say, barrier in there. Um, the driver will completely hang up uh, the moment uh, you change the values in there. So, uh, but what if you don't change them? Well, th that's exactly the point. What if you don't change them? 
the particular point about this is if you call it again with exactly the same values that are supposed to be in there. Well, then obviously we pass the checks here. We don't want to change um, the internal parameters in any way. Uh, but it has a big advantage that all the counters get reset. Oh, well, <laughs> uh -huh. and, uh, well this is uh, pretty much exactly what is happening right now <laughs> with the unlock. Yeah. So, uh, so in simple terms, the way the LHR lock works is that when the driver notices a memory access pattern on the GPU that looks like Ethereum mining, a countdown starts. And when that countdown reaches zero is when the LHR lock kicks in. And so this is how the 100% LHR unlocker works. Basically, there is a framework in the driver that has all of the controllers like the LHR lock countdown. And you cannot change the values in that framework or the driver will hang. However, the NVIDIA hack allowed them to realize that there is a loophole there where if instead of trying to send a new value to this framework, if you send the old value that is supposed to be there, the driver doesn't hang. But what also happens when they send that value is that all of the timers in that framework reset, including the LHR lock countdown. So by sending the exact values to the driver over and over again with perfect timing, the LHR countdown keeps resetting and resetting and resetting, basically allowing us to mine at full hash rate indefinitely. So if I understood you correctly, the, the hack um, helped in a way that it, it gave you almost like a, uh, a map for, for what you were looking for. To put it into a few words, without the hack, I guess it wouldn't have been possible to find it. Um, just because it was kind of sure um, there is some way doing it, but it is a, a needle in a very big haystack. And in the beginning, you even don't really know if there's a needle in there and how it, how it looks like. And uh, well, I'm very certain, at least for for the very first uh, of us who found um, the 100% unlock, um, they needed the sources. Um, mm. Without them, it would have been almost impossible to find it. Now, of course, the moment you know that it's a needle, well, that obviously gives you some hints, yeah, the way the, the other softwares behave. And uh, let's say a few of my colleagues are extremely good in reverse engineering as well. Uh, so. Um, well, having some people having found it was a huge hint for all of us uh, searching for the path they did take. And uh, I'm quite lucky it didn't, didn't took so long uh, finding it. The only thing that's really bugging us at the moment is um, if we reset at the wrong time, it seems, um, then uh, we still cause driver crashes. So it's at the moment all about getting this anyhow stable. Um, somehow finding out when we better not should reset uh, the, those counters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do, do you know where the, um, the first sort of um, unlock came from? Because I, I, we know that the um, NiceHash were the first people that announced that they had managed to do it. But do you, like, do you think it was the NiceHash excavator team that did it first? Or were they part of a big group or you don't know? or? Actually, I don't know. Um, they were definitely the first one um, who did publish it. Uh, a little bit crushing my, my personal release party of my last release, indeed. Yeah. I believe the solution they found and the one a little bit later uh, published by NB Miner were found independently. Oh, but really? I, yeah, but I also can, can say going a little bit deeper into uh, reverse engineering stuff, um, I'm quite certain also NB Miner and T-Rex don't 100% exactly use the same way of, of doing it. Uh, but I, I, I really can't tell uh, who was first. Uh, also, the NiceHash thing was uh, Windows only, so uh, maybe they had some struggle uh, going it getting it going on, on Linux, I don't know. It could indeed be, there's there's more than one way. Um, I'm Everything I told Tina was always only about uh, the way, um, well, I found for myself convenient to include it into my software. So uh, not 100% familiar with all the details of the other guys. Yeah, yeah, because you, you're gonna do it the way you're gonna do it in, in your minor, obviously. 
Um, but that is really interesting that not only is there a way of doing it, but there might be more than one way of doing it as well. There have been some rumors before that it's possible. I even can recall it, it was in the NB minor chat uh, some time ago. Uh, but obviously they had waited publishing it and I don't know, maybe also they already had it kind of running and then the moment NICE has did the release, it kind of pushed them to, okay, now we need to hurry. Uh, the very first uh, beta version that was other was quite unstable in my opinion. Um, it got much better with the recent releases. Uh, so, well, how crazy is that? The, the, those were developers not doing it a release for over half a year now they did uh, put out like five in four days yeah so <laughs> um, definitely a lot of work now ongoing uh, everyone is in hurry in, in, in big hurry um, I myself for let's say two to three days had no real clue what's going on there oh yeah <laughs> and needed, needed to sort it for myself because uh, of, of course I am uh, directly the, the moment it was released and it was kind of stable uh, on the other minus I immediately saw okay people moving over there yeah and um, well that creates some kind of extra motivation <laughs> getting yeah. it going as quickly as possible I can imagine so and from what I read on your release notes your 100% LHR unlock also works with ton dual mining is that right yeah exactly so that's with ton dual mining uh, also um, Alephium and uh, it also works for Ergo, uh, so oh, really? Auto Lucas, yeah. Amazing. Um, Whether well, this more or less because we're now no longer writing a GPU code uh, that's different, that tries to mine as fast as possible without locking. Uh, instead, we are running the fully normal, full hash rate codes now um, and just, uh, well, try to trick the driver all the time. And uh, well, obviously, uh, this is quite algorithm independent. I also would claim it's very minor independent. So if uh, someone uh, writes a really good solution that's very stable, mm -hmm. uh, it would likely be possible to glue that into some kind of uh, new uh, mining pill software that just can then unlock every miner that's uh, running. So uh, without needing a code change in the miner itself. Uh, Interesting. So unless, unless, of course, the, the miner is reading the device IDs and uh, thinks, okay, these are LHR and then loads the old LHR codes. And that needs to be avoided uh, because obviously it's better off running than the uh, full hash rate codes. So going off of that then, really even something like HiveOS could implement a little check mark that says unlock LHR, no matter what miner you're using. Yeah, the, the moment they realize how it works, uh, they could uh, most likely hear it wouldn't be so complicated in my opinion yeah interesting so from sort of a um, technical standpoint is there is there anything different now in the way the gpus are actually mining uh, anything different there between the lhr gpus or the full hash rate gpus um at least from what I've seen so far, no. Um, with the LHR, we still have a little bit driver stability problems when we use this method. Well, at least we had in, in my in my early versions and now the later ones uh, are fairly stable. So <laughs> let's see. Uh, at least till now, I haven't heard of much crashes yet. Uh, but except from that, um, let's say I've got a 3071 LHR at one full hash rate and uh, they behave 100% the same. So from any performance point of view, from power consumption, um, response to overclocking, they're, they're like uh, identical. That's Just interesting. That device IDs are different, yeah. That's, that's interesting that you bring that up because I don't know, I don't think you've had time in the last few days, but I, I just posted a video earlier today where I did just that. I mined on a full hash rate 3070 and an LHR 3070. And I tried to compare what was going on, both with the amount of shares they're submitting, the power draw. I have one of those inline power meters to see if there was any different there. And I couldn't find a single difference in any way between the LHR and full hash rate. They submitted the same well, amount of shares. They pulled the exact same amount of power. It was, yeah, it was like the LHR was just completely didn't matter anymore yeah exactly um, in my opinion the, these uh, chips are almost identical up to a single bit indicating i'm lhr or not 
um, a kind of fuse bit that's uh, in the in the uh, firmware. Um, well, and obviously different device IDs, um, but that's that's mostly it. That, that's more or less what I told the, the last times. They can, yeah. if they want, turn it off at any time. Yeah. Well, now now they don't want, but uh, well, the <laughs> minor software developers did turn it yeah. down. Yeah. Now 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 Nvidia doesn't have to turn it off anymore because we did it ourselves. And when I say we, I I really mean you. <laughs> well, in in, in my opinion. Um, in my opinion, it would be quite a cool move from them if they now would release a driver that just disables it um, because people are going to disable it anyways. Yeah. So, um, well, they can start, stop bugging us with this stuff and <laughs> just release a driver that allows to, to, uh, to run it without uh, tricking it all the time. You know what? I'm I'm very happy we're having this conversation too because the amount of emails and messages I've been getting about almost like conspiracy theories about oh no this is Nvidia actually changing something in their driver to make this no. possible. Okay, no, nothing like that. No, not at all. Um, I have made some tests in Windows with a quite old driver that was a 472 point something 12, I guess. And uh, even that driver, well, it was a little bit more unstable, uh, even more than the 510 ones, uh, now everyone wants to use, um, a little bit more unstable, but generally the uh, method um, to trigger the unlock was there as well. So it also works on the old driver versions if you know, uh, well, how to call it right. Um, some, some of the definitions changed in the older drivers, so, uh, well, that you need to adjust, but generally it works on almost any driver version uh, we've had since the release of LHR cards. So basically it's a weakness that's always been there, more or less. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Amazing. I think so. Cool. Well, um, you know what? I'm actually going to say, let's end our conversation here. And I'll let you go and keep working or maybe <laughs> sleep for the first time in three days or something like that. <laughs> thank um, you. <laughs> but Lolly Deep, thank you so much for coming on and talking to me. And again, everyone, please go check out and download the latest LOL Miner version with 100% full LHR unlock, including dual mining for uh, Ethereum with Ton or Ethereum with Alephium. And Lolly Deep, thank you again. You're the greatest. You, you're welcome. <laughs> See you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then please go download the latest version of LOL Miner to show him that we really do appreciate him coming on here and talking to us about this. But what you got to do now is you got to click on one of those videos on the screen because this video is over. You can also click the picture on my face and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, go click on that next video and I'll see you there. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.